Today I want to talk about the MACD histogram. But before you can understand a MACD histogram, you have to understand the MACD. MACD is short for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. It's a trading indicator that's used in technical analysis of stock prices. It was created by Gerald Appel in the late 1970s. It's supposed to reveal changes in strength, direction, momentum, and duration of a trend in a stock's price. Um, the MACD is an oscillator. It's a collection of three time series calculated from historical price data. And so let's start by adding some moving averages to this chart. We're going to start by adding a 26-day exponential moving average in blue. I'm going to add a 12-day exponential moving average in green. What a MACD line is, is the difference between the 12-day exponential moving average and the 26-day exponential moving average charted as an oscillator. Down here we have the MACD of the S&P 500 and you can see that as the difference between the 12-day and the 26-day exponential moving averages increases, the line increases. As the difference decreases, the line decreases until they cross. And at the time that they cross, your MACD line crosses the zero line. Here they cross back the other way, and your MACD line crosses back the other way. This in and of itself can be a signal on the market. We want to sell when the MACD crosses the zero line. We want to buy when the MACD crosses back above the zero line. But we can get more technical than that. If we add a 9-day exponential moving average of the MACD line, we get what's called a signal line. This signal line becomes our trigger for buying or selling. When we cross below this signal line, when the MACD crosses below this signal line, we want to sell the market. When the MACD crosses back above the signal line, we want to buy the market. Let's take this one step further. What the MACD histogram does is it measures the distance between the MACD line and the signal line. So when the MACD line crosses below the signal line, our MACD histogram goes negative. So when we have a sell signal on the MACD, our histogram goes negative. When we have a buy signal on the MACD, our histogram goes positive. Notice how as the MACD line swings back toward the signal line, we begin to see an uptrend in our histogram. This is bullish, this uptrend in the histogram. When we cross the signal line, the MACD histogram goes positive, and that's also bullish. This is giving us a buy signal. A buy signal is bullish. So as we trend back higher, our MACD histogram is giving us a bullish signal. Once we get above the zero line, or we get a MACD signal cross, that also becomes bullish. So we have two signals on our MACD histogram. We have an upward trending histogram, which gives us a bullish signal, and we have a histogram that's trading above the zero line, which gives us a second bullish signal, and that makes our immediate bias on the S&P 500 bullish. When the MACD is above the signal, signal line, but is getting closer to the signal line, our histogram trends downward. We're still on a buy signal because the MACD is above the signal line, but these two are converging and that's bearish. So we have a bullish signal because we're 
on a buy signal, but we're getting closer to a bearish signal. So we have a downtrend in our histogram, which is bearish, which gives us a neutral signal. And finally, on the other side, as we move from below the signal line up toward the signal line, our MACD histogram moves upward, trends upward, but we're still below the signal line, so we're on a sell signal. We're getting more bullish, but we're still on a sell signal. That gives us a neutral signal on our MACD histogram. It's really rather confusing, and there's really no reason that you need to understand this. What you need to understand is when our MACD histogram is trending higher, it's bullish. When our MACD histogram is trending lower, it's bearish. When our MACD histogram is above the zero line, it's bullish. And when our MACD histogram is below the zero line, it's bearish. If we have two bullish signals, that gives us a bullish bias on the market. If we have two bearish signals, that gives us a bearish bias on the market. That's the MACD histogram. That's how we use it. I hope that helps, and uh, we'll see you again next time.